Today, we're going to look at yesteryear forge's hook jig. The jig itself is what goes in the anvil. This is what has been CNC machined with all of your various holes. It also comes with five pins. It comes with your quarter inch hardened dowel pin, and it comes with four different sized center pins from inch and a half, inch and a quarter, inch, and three quarter. Today, what we're going to use is the inch and a quarter center pin and the dowel pin placed and we're going to forge S hooks at a 5 16th round. Uh, today when we go through this we're going to go at a little bit of a slower pace to try and show you all the steps and how to easily make S hooks. First thing you're going to do is you're going to forge a square taper on the end of your material. We're, going to, we're using round. You could use flat bar, square, whatever you would like to make your hooks out of. A graceful taper will look better in the end. The next step is to take your four-sided square taper to an eighth and then sixteen and so on, knocking the corners down until you achieve a round taper. We generally leave ours not as refined because we really like the, uh, the hammer marks. Notice the shiny and the shadows on where it's faceted from our hammer marks. The really great thing about this jig is that with all the holes and all the different center pins, it, el it eliminates a lot of separate individual jigs and gets everything down to a really small manageable area for your shop. Now we're going to put the curly cue on the end, put it over the anvil, knock it on a 90, turn it over and start tapping it back to us to achieve that curly cue or also called a rat tail. We're going to go back in the fire. This time when we come out of the fire what we're going to do is quench the curly cue in because by quenching the curly cue in and it goes against the dowel pin here it'll save it from being deformed when you're pulling to make your hook. Remember too, when you're pulling and making your hook, to pull away and around, almost like wrapping a piece of rope around a tree. Notice the hammer taps there. That straightens the back side of the hook. Refine on the anvil to make sure it's flat. Checking for straightness. And there you go. Half your hook. Now you just flip it over, you do the other end, and you've achieved the S hook. So this jig will allow you to repeat this process several times and give your customers a repeatable but hand forged product that will not only gain confidence in your skills, but also confidence from your customer base.